Sports Center showcase highlight animation. Then it's off to Fenway. M's magic number is 28. Top five, 2 1 Mariners. Today on Omo, trying to work out of a jam. First and third, no outs. And guess who's due up for the Mariners? Well, we have the lineup card, and it's the heart of the order. Edgar Martinez, 82 ribs. John Olrud, 71. And Brett Boone, 104. So what happens? Edgar Martinez facing Hideo Nomo, and he's looking. What up? Next batter, John Olrud. He missed. Brett Boone steps in. And Booney. This would be a home run. They were playing on a silo. Instead, Shea Hillenbrand. Watch out. It's the home team dugout, luckily, and he gloves it, and he's in, and they're out of the jam. We're going to take another look. It's Hillenbrand until his teammates like him, spies the step. And then there are the rest of his Red Sox buddies to make sure he doesn't fall down. Now we're going back to the first to see how this thing works out. Carl Everett standing right on top of the plate. He is right there. Good plate coverage, and Jamie Moyer doesn't like it. He steps off the rubber. He, he says, that's ridiculous, tells Mark Hirschbeck. We can get the guy away from the plate. I own a little bit of that. Well, doesn't happen. And so Moyer takes things into his own hands, and he plunks Everett. A little bruising on the way to first. Everett discusses with him. He says, I'm okay, but just the first. I'm going to hit a home run on you. That's right. I'm George Herman. I'm pointing to the stands. Well, Everett back to the fifth now. On, Boston down 2 1. Everett facing Moore, and he makes good. Everett's 13th of the season over the Green Monster, and the game is tied at two. Moyer not happy. Two earned runs in seven innings. Everett's still talking, and when he crosses home plate, well, yeah, that's attractive, Roseanne. Top nine, Mariners down 3-2, first and third, nobody out. Ichiro against Derek Lowe, and Derek Lowe not going to do like no more get out of this one. Charles Gibson will score, ties the game at three. Still in the ninth, now base is loaded, one out. Olrud, right to first, Hillenbrand's there, starts the 3-2-3 double play, so that ends the threat in the top of the 11. Two on, Edgar Martinez, 78 extra inning at bats. And that's just his second extra inning home run. A three-run shot is 18th of the year, and the Mariners win it 6-3 in 11 innings. They are major league best 21-10 and 10 in one-run games. Kazazaki matched the team record for saves. He said last season. Well, there's John Rocker in to close it. That's what you think. Doug Mankiewicz, Robbie Alomar, nice stop. The throw low. Mankiewicz safe at first. Next batter, will Rocker unravel? Wild, all the way to the backstop. Menkevich, all the way to third on the play. Smart base running by Doug Menkevich. After walking another batter to put runners on the corners, manager Charlie Manuel comes out, pulls Rocker, who went just to third, allowed a hit and two runs, and John disgusted. Bob Wickman into pitch for the Tribe against Torrey Hunter. Grounder, Omar Vizquel, the force at second. Menkevich would score from third, tie game. Rocker knows what happened. He was watching. Two batters later, runners at first and second. Denny Hawking. Up the middle, Alomar, the grab, the backhand, to Vizquel, the throw, not on target. Everybody safe. Next batter, A.J. Pierzynski. Looking for space, finds it down the line, clears the bases, his only hit of the game. Three runs come in to score. The Twins are now up 7-4. to four. It looked good for Minnesota, right? Uh, not quite. Bottom nine, two out, runner on first, Latroy Hawkins on the mound, facing Omar Vizquel. Little O, clutch, down the line for a double. Vizquel, two for five, two RBIs, hitting 279. Kenny Lofton would score, it's now 7-5, to five, Twins. Next batter. Robbie Alomar, been in clutch big situations before. See, that's a single. The skill scores. It's now seven to six twins. Twins coach Paul Molitor can't believe what he is seeing. Next batter, two outs, Juan Gonzalez. One of his three hits, Alomar would score. We are tied at seven. Wondering about Molitor? Stunned. Top of the 11th now, two outs, runner on first, Pierzynski. To the hole, Alomar the dive, makes the throw, gets the out. Bottom of the 11th, no outs, Bob Wells pitching for the Twins, Kenny Lofton. This one is deep, off the wall, Chad Allen, uh-oh, twists his knee. Look at the warrior, Chad Allen hustling to make the throw in serious pain. Lofton would end up in third. Allen, take another look, would get his right leg stuck in the grass at the Jake. He was taken off on a stretcher. He went to the hospital for x-rays. He was released. We'll know more on Wednesday about Chad Allen. The Twins once again hit by the injury bug. Still in the 11th inning with the bags full. Juan Gonzalez. Oh. Oh, 
over the head of Jacques Jones. 106 RBIs for Juan Gonzalez this year. He's hitting 345, and the Indians come back. Just received a contract extension, and he grounds into the 6-4-3 double play. Top of the third base is loaded one out for long again to play hero, but not to be. 0 for 4, he left 7 on the game, obviously pressing. 2-1 Jays, pinch hitter Almedo signs. Reed at a two-run homer, seventh on the year. 3-2 Oakland, Oakland's first pinch hit home run of the year. Same score, bottom nine, two on, two out. Jason Isringhausen, Homer Bush. Down the line, Brad Fulmer would score. Bush, two for three, one RBI, he's hitting 325, his eighth double of the year. We're tied at three. Next batter, Jose Cruz Jr. Game-winning home run. If you could see the expression of Jose Cruz Jr., and you would see it later on in this program, by the way, he pulled like a Carlton Fisk. He did. 21st home run, second of the game, Jays win. So much for that streak of uh, winning series openers for Oakland. They had one going there. Back are the Giants of Arizona for the NL West lead. Looking for 51, and Cliff Floyd couldn't care less. Great catch by Cliff, and then Barry will tell Cliff, you're killing me. Bottom six, Giants up 9-5, Bonds once again trying for 51. Barry. Number 51, 545 for his career. Bonds four for five this year with the bags full. That includes two homers. Come on, Barry, come on out for the curtain call. You deserve it, and then the lucky fan. I got I got number 51. The Giants have themselves a win, 13 to 7. Bonds now one homer shy of the franchise record, 52 homers. Willie Mays hit back. Luis Gonzalez against Todd Ritchie. Gonzo gone, number 45. You didn't forget about Luis, did you? Arizona up 2 nothing. He's still in this Jack Homer race. Pirates down two run. Runners on the corners. Pat Mears, contact. Kevin Young will be tagging from third on this short fly. Steve Finley going home. Mike DeFelice. Blocks the plate, and Young is out. Now, Young and DeFelice get tangled up. Now, Young will flip over DeFelice right there. Now, you can't do that. The punches will be thrown. The benches will be empty. Danny Batista and the Pirates coach go down. Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling, get out of there. You're going to get hurt. Then, Schilling goes running back for more. DeFelice jawing at Young. Young would be thrown out, as well as DeFelice. Oh, you want to know what happened in the game? Okay. <laughs> Matt Williams with a game-winning RBI for the D-backs, a win, 4-3. One zip lead. It's the Chad Kruder homer. Jeff Shawn with 34 saves, but the bases are chucked. And Orlando Cabrera going to clear the bases. Start the merry-go-round. Three runs are going to score. Shaw, one inning pitch, four hits, four runs, a second blown save, and three chances. It was 4-1 in the bottom of the ninth. Graham Lloyd pitching to Mark Grizzolanik and Vladimir Guerrero. He wants to eat. It's the first out of the inning. They get the last two, and the Expos win it by a count of 4-1. Poor Chano Park, no hitter through five innings for the second time this season. Eight shutout innings, three hits, and yet he comes up with a no decision. L.A. has now lost five straight following a four-game winning streak. Tony Clark facing Jared Washburn. Clark up the middle. Adam Kennedy diving stop and throws him out. Take another look. We've had a lot of take another looks, and for good reason. The backhanded stop by Kennedy. Quick feet, better throw. Top four, four-nothing Angels. Runners on second and third. Nate Corneo, David Eckstein up the middle. Past the diving Shane Halter. Two runs would come in. Boy, the Angels are making it look easy in the second half. They've won 10 of 13 since the All-Star break. They're 11 and 3 on the road during that span. That's the best in the majors. For Garrett Anderson, he homered in this game, his third homer in two games. The Tigers, though, oh, the Tigers. They've <laughs> lost five straight, 11 of 13. Here are your AL wildcard standings. The Angels, the only team to win Tuesday, as the rest of the wildcard contenders, the A's, Red Sox, and Twins, all blew ninth inning leads. So Boston remains two behind the A's, the Twins four back, Anaheim now five back. Yanks lead their division, facing the Devil Rays. Bottom first, will score Joe Kennedy. Fat one to Derek Jeter, going the other way. Will you marry me? 
14th. Girls like Derek Cheater. One zip stripes. Second leadoff homer in three games. Top three tied at two. Andy Pettit facing Ben Grieve. And Clay Bellinger is there. Hey, defense will save some runs. It does there. Nicely done. More Bellinger defense in the fourth. Greg Vaughn. He's 0 for 4, and that's part of the reason why. Bellinger, nice job filling in for Scott Brocious. Who cares that he went 0 for 3? He was playing defense. Bottom six, Yanks down 3-2. Not anymore. Tino Martinez got 14 homers and 30 ribs in his last 26 games at the stadium. 27 home runs for the year as the Yanks win 5-3, and they're now Astros. Roy Oswald, 9-2 the season, taking on the Cubs. Top first, Delano DeShields. He was using a number two pencil. Uh-oh, Sammy Sosa, air bat there. The next batter, Fred McGriff, nasty hook. Oswald strikes out the side in the first inning. Bottom first, not so good for Julian Tavares. It's not how you want to start it. Craig Biggio, third leadoff homer in four games, eighth of the season, 19th homer this year, one zip Astros. Top four, comes down one zip bases. Chuck, Bill Miller, deep fly ball. Orlando Merced is there over the shoulder, makes a nice catch. Videotape's great, we'll show it to you again. Oh, yeah, put that glove on the handlebar of your bike and go to the ballpark. Top seven, game tied at one. Sammy Sosa against Ron Vallone. He didn't miss that one. Sammy, solo home run, 43rd of the season. The Cubs lead it by a count of two to one. Let's go bottom nine. Astros down 3-1. Vinny Castilla, a line drive, but Augie Ojeda is there, stretching out, makes it. Throws over to first. We got one out in the ninth. Now with two outs, Tom Gordon. Flash. Oh, he gets Biggio. Questionable pitch. The ump says you're out. You're out. Cubs win it 3-1. Snap a three-game skid and jump back into first. And Big league baseball like anybody cares. Reds and Redbirds. Bottom first. No score. Mark McGuire right at Aaron Boone. Knocks it down across the diamond. Gets Big Mac, who that's the only time he put the ball in play. Also caved three times. He's homerless in his last 18 games against Cincinnati. Mike Matheny is not. In the fourth, the two zip cards lead becomes a five nothing lead on Matheny's fifth of three run shot. Now, top eight, Reds trail seven zip. Dimitri Young, oh boy, half a swing, a whole strike, and he's got some issues with Matt Hollowell, the ump, and he gives him an earful, and at least one of those words cannot be used in church, so he got tossed. It was 7 1. Card, six game win streak. That's nice, and they can thank Matt Morris, who had a streak of 22 straight batters, retired in this one. He struck out eight, walked one, four hits, and improves to 11 2 at Bush Stadium this season. Braves Rockies, welcome to Coors, and there is your president. Now, who'll get the W? Bottom four, Tom Glavin facing Todd Helton. Swing a bat, he's strong. He was four for five, that's his 36th homer of the year. One zip, rocks. Now we go top six, three, two Braves. John Thompson facing Andrew Jones. Jones singles back through the box. Brian Jordan giving full effort until he knew he scores, and then he pulls up. 4-2 Braves. Bottom nine, 4-3 Braves. Steve Carsey facing Jose Ortiz. Two out. Man on second. Ortiz delivers. And the runner will score. It's a pinch runner. Who's that pinch runner? It's Mike Hampton working on the off day. Nicely done. We're tied at four. Extra innings. Bottom ten. Carsey, Juan Uripe. That gets through. Helton will score. Rockies win 5-4. Carsey blows his third save and eight chances for Atlanta. Braves lose their sixth straight for the first time this season. Haven't lost that many since 96. Glavin swell again, allowed three earned runs or less in 11 straight starts, but the no decision. Rockies win a game started by John Thompson for the first time in 13 starts dating back to August of 99. It's reality. The Braves are in the NL wildcard race. The Giants and Astros now tied atop the standings. Houston's loss dropping them out of first in the Central. The Dodgers' loss puts them two back in the wildcard race, while the Braves and Cardinals are lurking close behind. First place, Phils in the NL East looking to pad their lead in Milwaukee. David Coggin, he's been hot. Phillies up 3-1. to one. Jose Hernandez taking off from first. Coggin, great backhand snag on Luis Lopez. Throw to first to get the out. Take another look. Coggin. Great reflexes, that's all it takes, right? Good coordination. Travis Lee, he's been lifting. That'll go off the wall. Bobby Abreu, Pat Burrell would score. Phillies go on to win. Lee driving in four of the 10 runs. The NL East leading Phillies win their fourth straight. They now have a two game lead over Atlanta in the East. This is the White Sox, top six. This game is tied at two. Randy Velarde's already hit one home run. Is there another bomb in that bat? Mark Burley. Gives it up. Seventh of the season for Velarde. Rangers lead at 3-2. Burley came in leading the league in ERA. Bottom 6-4-2 Texas. Aaron Rowan. Aaron Mayet. This one goes to the wall. Jose Canseco cruises. Carlos Lee's in. 
two-run double for Rowan. Game tied at four. We got a pitching change. Next batter, Mark Johnson. Juan Moreno is now on. And Johnson laying down a bunt. Moreno fielding, firing. Wild. Rowan comes in to score. Johnson a second on the error. It's a 5-4 lead. And Camaro basically hid from that ball. There was no way he was going to get it. Well, he had no chance. He'd have to go into the runner to get it. But look how Moreno slips a little bit. Gets on the backside too much. That ball cutting all the way inside to the runner. Rafi says, you know what? I ain't going after that. No. And they end up losing to the Rangers 7-4 to the White Sox. Mark Burley wins his fourth straight start. Hi to the Royals. Chevy O's. Cal. One hit to tie George Brett for 13th on the all-time hit list. Let's go back to October 3rd, 19. Who remembers this kid? Who remembers this kid? I remember that hit. Remember Manny Lee kind of shortening up on that, but George Brett finishing his career with a base hit and just one word, strapping. We remember, we remember it. That's great. <laughs> Did you say strapping? <laughs> kind of slipped out. I was thinking it and it slipped out. How would, if you use strapping to describe yourself then, what would you use to describe yourself now? Look at Cal Ripken, a three-run home run. is hit number 3155, 11th of the year, 428th for his career. Goodbye, George Brett. <laughs> Mike McFarlane.